Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is this glitter gradient and a gold heart or whatever. I decided to do this design for my birthday which is on August 28th and decided to record it. It's kind of long but I went through the whole process and I really hope that you like it. So let's get to it. The first color that I'm using on my ring finger is Spring in My Step, which is a beautiful baby pink, but because it's a kind of patchy color, I did three coats of that one. So for the rest of the fingers, I'm using What a Pansy, <laughs> funny name, and I'm doing that for the rest, for the other four fingers. And I'm applying the last coat for every single nail. And then proceeding with a cleanup, like always, using a flat brush, dipping acetone. This brush is linked down in the description box so you can know where I got it from. And just clean up very well, close to the skin and cuticle. And on that ring finger, I'm adding a top coat to facilitate the application of the stencil later on. Now for the gradients, I'm using this makeup eyeshadow applicator. Or you can use a makeup sponge, whatever your preference. But because I want more control and when I want to see what I'm doing, I'm going for the makeup eyeshadow applicator. So the glitter that I'm using also by China Glaze, everything is China Glaze, is your present required. And I'm applying a few drops of it on a piece of plastic that I have to work when I need to drop, you know, nail polish on. Oh my God. Okay, so using that applicator, I'm going to make sort of like a gradient, like a waterfall kind of, of placing the, the glitter. Oh my. And as you can see, I go over to make sure that the glitter really stick. And depending how opaque you want that glitter to be, you can go over that as many times as you want. I just want it to be not so strong. Now to seal all that in, I'm using my favorite top coat by Glistening Glow, HK Girl. Really good. <laughs> and I'm applying one coat to every nail except for that one that we the pink color and now to protect my skin from any mess especially with glitter I'm using a liquid latex by liquid palisade and as you can see I'm covering as close as possible to the nail once that is dried it turns kind of on the kind of of a darker purple as you can see in here now this part as you can see I had a bit of a struggle and mainly because of the position where I had the camera and my hand, my other hand trying to get to it or look very well without interrupting the getting in the middle of the view. But as you can see why it's so important to have this nail completely dry and with a quick dry top coat because every time if you don't apply a dry, a quick dry top coat, this Every time you lift the stencil, it may lift the color of your base. So you don't want that. That's why it's so important to add a quick dry top coat again. And I'm struggling here, but I think I finally got it. Using a pair of tweezers. It's better to use a pair of tweezers so you can see better. Because if you use it in your other hand, it may be hard to have a good view of what you're doing. And just making sure everything is really stuck together. I'm using my final color, which is Mango with Kringle. This is from their um, Christmas collection. And now using a makeup sponge, I'm going to add a bit of the nail polish and dab it on my nail twice. I reapply the nail polish on the sponge to make it more opaque, as you can see in there. Then quickly, after finishing that with my pair of tweezers, I'm going to lift that stencil. Don't let it dry because otherwise it will mess up the design. 
and that's it for that part very easy now I'm going to proceed to remove the liquid latex very carefully again so with the tweezers you don't hit your nail and damage your design and as you can see no mess and now I'm applying my top coat again to seal everything in and that's it I really hope that you enjoyed this thumbs up if you liked it comment if you have any question and I'll be talking to you soon thank you for watching bye